Uh, hello, friends. Today we will solve the minimize malware spirit problem. Let's see the statement. In a network of nodes, each node i is directly connected to another node j, if and only if graph i j equal to one. Some nodes initial are initially infected by malware. When river two nodes are directly connected and at least one of those two nodes is affected by malware, both nodes will be affected by malware. What does this sentence mean? Like if the uh, one is connected uh, with two, so if one is infected, then two will be infected too. Let's see, this spirit of malware will continue until no more nodes can be infected in this manner. So uh, if this uh, uh, 1 is connected to 2, 2 is connected to 3. So if at uh, uh, first only 2 is infected, then uh, 1 and 3 will also be infected because uh, th these three nodes are connected. Suppose M initially the final number of nodes infected with malware in the, the entire network. After the spirit of malware stops, we will remove one node from the initial list. Return the node that if removed would minimize M initial. If multiple nodes would be removed to minimize M initial, return such a node with the smallest index. Note that if a node was removed from the initial, uh, the initial list of the infected uh, nodes. It may, uh, it may still be infected later as a result of the malware spirit. So what does this uh, problem mean? Which means we are given a graph, and then we will, uh, we are given the initials, and the initial means the node, uh, the nodes in the graph, uh, were infected. Now we can remove only one node, and we uh, want to minimize the total nodes uh, will be infected. So what does that mean? As I said, if these three nodes are connected, and only like only one was in infected at, uh, at the beginning, so if uh, we remove the one, then these two three will not be infected, but. Uh, if at the beginning one and two were infected, then even if we remove the one, the three will also be infected because the two was infected. So our result, uh, our task becomes to find. The, okay, our result becomes to find the disjoint set, uh, which only one node is infected uh, at the beginning, right? And uh, if uh, there are many destroying sets uh, uh, which only have one node be infected, then we need to choose the destroying set uh, which, uh, have, uh, which have the, the maximum, uh, the, uh, which has the largest nodes, uh, most nodes, which means the destroy that will be the largest most nodes. Then we remove that one will be okay. But what if uh, there are many uh, candidates, we need to return the smallest index. So what does it mean? We should uh, first uh, sort the initial because uh, at uh, last we may just uh, return the uh, smallest index. So let's solve this question. First, we will write our uh, destroying set. We need the size, size array. And we also need the root array. Uh, and uh, in this specific question, we also need the infected array. For, the, uh, for record, uh, how many nodes in this destroying set has been infected, have been infected? So let's first uh, uh, do the constructor, write the construct DSU, and we pass this n, and uh, the size will new int n, and uh, the root will be new int n. Infected will be a uh, new int n. Then for error of, we will initialize the root array, n i plus plus, the root i will equal to the i. Okay. Then we will write uh, the find function, int x. 
uh, if the root x not equal to x, we will ch uh, change every x directed uh, connected to the uh, root. Find root x. Uh, this uh, this method means uh, uh, the path compression. Then we find the return the root x. Also, we need the <coughs> union into x into y. Okay, we will first find the both uh, parents. Each parent find y. And if root x equal to root y, we just return. If not the case, if the size root x is less than the size root y, we will change the root uh, root x because it's uh, sm smaller, so we will uh, attach that to the root y. So the root x will become root y, and uh, at the same time, uh, let the root y size increment. If not, case root uh, root y will equal to root x, and the size root x will plus plus. Okay. Then. Let's write the main function. We will first get the size of the graph. It will be n. And we will new our disjoint set dsu will new dsu n times n. It's a total nodes, right? Because this is a agent agency matrix. Um then we union the connected nodes. Start from zero and then less than n i plus plus for int j equal to zero j less than n j plus plus. So if the graph i j equal to one, we dsu uh, union the i j. Okay, now we get them. Uh, and then we want to iterate the initial. Uh, do not forget to sort them at first. So erase sort the initial. Okay, initial. We will first find the root because we want to uh, count the infected nodes in the root node. We find DSU find the i, okay, and then we will DSU. We named that infected, infected, uh, infected, right? In, yes, I think so. Infected root plus plus, okay. Then we will, uh, this is the number, which means uh, the number of nodes in the disjoint set. And uh, we will result at first uh, equal to negative one. Then we iterate this initial again. We find the root at the same, as the same and find the i. So if the, we will check if uh, in this uh, disjoint set only one node is affected. So if DSU infected root equal to one, uh, we will check if the number less than the DSU, this the size of this dis, uh, disjoint set root. If less than the size, then we will update the number to the DSU size root. And the result will equal to the current infected node, which is the I. So in the end, we will check if the number equal to negative one. If yes, we just return initial uh, zero. If not, we return the result. Okay, thank you for watching.